Hey, how are you? Well, right off the bat, I just want to thank everybody for the positive feedback and the really nice comments about the longer videos because uh, it's just great to get that because that's what I want to do. I really want to try to make informative videos that uh, can be helpful to anybody who wants to build something. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. I'll make the videos as long as they need to be. The only thing that I'm changing, or, or not really even changing, but adding, is uh, I'm going to take all the footage that I've collected during the project and turn it into a short video, which will be kind of an overview of the project and almost serve as a commercial for the project because I'll have a link on the video that will bring you back to the project. So, uh, thanks so much. It's just, it's, I can't, I can't, um, <laughs> can't say it. Uh, I can't say enough how much I appreciate your positive feedback. So, uh, thanks. Uh, so, I got a couple of questions. Um, Okay, so one question is, will the storage area be closed or open? And these storage areas will be open. So uh, the good thing is my son's kind of a, a neat kid, so I can imagine it staying very organized. Uh, it does have the potential to look like a mess. Uh, so uh, that being said, another question was, would you build one with drawers? And I would build one with drawers. It's just that I didn't want to get that involved in, in such a big project because that would be a lot of chores and there's also an issue with this area up here because uh, you probably uh, at some point are going to want a nightstand or some kind of a table here and that would prevent the drawer from opening so that's something I'm thinking about uh, I, I probably will make my son uh, one or two night side tables uh, because the nice thing about making some stuff for my children now is they're older uh, I think that they can really appreciate the furniture. The, my son Jack was saying this is great because he'll take it with him uh, whenever he leaves the house. I'm not pushing him out the door, but uh, so that's kind of kind of a nice thing. And I think also whenever you build something, your second attempt will be better. So uh, I'm not sure exactly how I would change this. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, which brings me to another question. Do I wish that it was easier to disassemble and reassemble the bed uh, the platform and yeah it would be it would be nice but it would be difficult uh, I guess to figure that one out and I uh, I don't know I think I'm happy with with the way it came out so uh, let's see what else we got here uh, let's see we get a chance to, we get a chance to see it in the room with the mattress yes and in fact if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram it's already been up there uh, so, uh, I'll have that at the end of the video, the bed all made and, and in the room. Um, Alright, i got a question about the bees. How are the bees doing? And it's funny because we had a, another big snowstorm here on, I think, Thursday. And uh, the bees, you know, it's a, it's a tough winter. And so I took some footage of the beehive and I don't know if the bees are going to make it through. I am going to make another beehive in about two weeks. And when I do, I'll have plans on the website that you'll be able to uh, pull over and it should be a, it's a pretty easy build I've changed the design a little bit from last year so uh, yeah I hope the bees made it through a, a lot of us beekeepers are concerned because it's been a pretty rough winter okay I got a question about the turbine sprayer and HVLP sprayer uh, spraying lacquer is probably one of the easiest easiest finishes to get it it's just uh, very user friendly. I think that if you use a ratio of uh, three parts or what is it, three quarters lacquer and one quarter lacquer thinner, you'll have decent results. And really, with any finish, you're better off with several thin coats as opposed to a few thick coats. Uh, my problem right now is I'm really not set up to spray. I usually spray in the corner over there, which is a mess right now, and I'm kind of waiting for the weather to break to move the welder outside. I don't weld in here, but my welder is stored over there and set that area up so I can start to spray more. And then the overall goal is to expand out onto that side of the barn where I have a shed and then spray in there. Do I ever wear ear protection? I always wear ear protection. I, I just don't point it out. I, I guess I don't want to get close-ups of my ears. But uh, one thing I do use is door insulation, and 
I, I don't know if I should recommend this. It's just something that I always have around. So I've always got, uh, they work just exactly the way an earplug does and I never seem to run out of them. But I always use ear protection, especially with the routers and um, uh, the belt sander, some of the really piercing tools. Okay, how much did the materials cost for this build? I think I'm right around $225 with the Sapili molding, and it probably would go a little bit over that because I did have the cherry veneer, so I had some things in the shop. But um, yeah, it, it's, I had to spend a little bit of money on this project. Well, I guess that's it, uh, and I do just want to say thanks again because it's really great to get the positive feedback because it, it just keeps you pushing forward to uh, try to make good videos, and I think my goal with my videos is I'm, I'm coming at it from a place where if I was trying to explain to a friend of mine how to build something, uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not really trying to entertain or be funny because it's just not me. Although I was singing on a video in, uh, on Facebook, and I'm not a singer, trust me. But I'm listening to a lot of good music lately. My kids have great taste in music. And uh, I was surprised to realize there's so many great bands out there right now. So uh, you can check that out too by going to my Facebook. So anyway, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you soon.